Welcome to The Sting, our monthly show dedicated to our junior bees. I'm Lou Gregory and here's what's coming up today. Shannon Baptiste picks his ultimate FIFA 11 of players he's played with and against. They're quite quiet but everyone knows like, what they need to do. We've all dreamt of making our first team debut but what's it really like? Well we got Finn Stevens to tell us. Uh, and he also said to me if it, like the game's going right then we're going to try and get your debut. And the man that makes them calls the gaffer Thomas Frank tells us the three best things about being head coach. That I pick the team. I decide. And there's no better place to start than Shandon Baptiste talking us through his FIFA Ultimate 11 of players he's played with and against. I'm going to do a 4 3 3, but with a defensive midfielder. I would say David, David Rea, to be fair. Yeah, joking keeper, what keeper. On the ball, he's like probably as good as some players. And then in terms of his keeping, everyone, you know, everyone, you guys will probably see them save some some shots that, you know, you shouldn't be able to save and he's kept us in a lot of games. So, yeah, I'll definitely say um, David. Right back, probably Cantillo for Man City. I think, I think sometimes defensively he's not, I wouldn't say he's a well beat when it comes to defensively, but you can just see how good of a, of a player he is now. Like, if you, if you, watch Man City recently, you see sometimes he's popping up in central midfield and, and playing as a as a as a midfielder now. So yeah, I'll definitely say definitely say him. Centre back, I would say uh Rob Dickey. Yeah, he's probably definitely one of the the best centre backs I've I played with and I had a good partnership with him. We're good friends as well. So definitely uh Rob Dickey as a right centre back. Left centre back I have to say, probably Vincent Company. You know, it's just one of those like you, like you watched. I watched him for so long on TV, and to one to play against him, two to to be a captain against him was uh, a big moment. And you know, everyone knows he's a, he's just a legend. I don't really remember hearing him that much in the game, which is quite weird. But what's weird when uh, both times we played, I played Man City. You don't really hear them talk a lot, and like. I think that's a bit weird because when you're growing up and, and in the lower leagues and stuff, all the managers and stuff are t always telling you to just be quite vocal. These guys, they're just, they're quite quiet, but everyone knows like what they need to do and like they no one needs to tell each other what to do because they make that little, that little mistakes that like no one actually has to, to say enough and they're always that good on the ball. They always know where to be. They're always basically winning. The best left back, I would say, is Zinchenko, just on the fact that he's probably played the best pass i ever seen, where I think it's someone, he's thrown it, someone set him back, and on the volley, he switched it from his left back position all the way to the right side to Mares. And I was just in awe. I was just like, I couldn't believe he's played that pass. So just on the fact, just on the fact that he did that, I'll put him as the, as a left back. CDM, yeah, I'll, I'll probably say Chris to be fair. Chris, yeah, Chris is is a great CDM. You know, as a as an eight playing with him, he gets you on the half turn, gives you the passes that you want, gives you the the protection that you need to go forward. Yeah, and just an all round all round top player. And obviously, I'm sure people saw him against against England. He was man of the match that day, so he just saw saw what kind of quality he has, and I'm sure um, he'll end up at the top. I've I, I got to put David Silver in there as, a, as one of the eights. Just, just a top player. I, I was, he played on when we played him. He played on my side, and like, I just couldn't get the ball off him. He, he, whatever you did, you pressed him. Didn't matter. Just, just comfortable on the ball. Too good. So I didn't even have to go into too much of how how good the player is. So I would say Josh, Josh De Silva. Um, you know, I haven't played with him for long, but. Anyone can see that he's a top player. He's definitely going to play top Premier League football. You know, my nickname for him is Yaya. He reminds me of him. You can see how powerful, how strong, how technically gifted um, he is. So, yeah, I'm a fool of Josh, David Silva, and Christian Norgaard doesn't sound doesn't sound too bad. <laughs> That's definitely definitely winning some games. Left wing, I would say, Tariq Fosu. You know, me and him, we had a, a, a great connection at, at Oxford. We moved to Brentford together. 
still good friends now. Um, and yeah, it's just he's a, he was a top player while he was at um, also still a top player now. But you know, me and him really really grew as a as a partnership. Him playing on the left wing, me playing left uh, centre midfield. As a footballer, anyone will tell you sometimes you can't do everything in, in one game. Like you, you probably need three, four, five, six games until you're really at your maximum and you're, you're playing well. Like of course you can show glimpses in one game, but to to really show what what um, you're about, you need games. And as you see, you've played, started maybe nine, ten games now, and you're really starting to see see what he's about. I've, uh, I really, I still think that he has more to show. And then right side, I probably have to say Saeed, Saeed Ben Rama, just, you know, on the fact that when I was at Oxford, you know, everyone everyone could see that he was a top player. Like, he was just making some people fun, you know, just, just playing a game of freedom, having a having a laugh of it. So, and every, probably every Britain for fan saw how, how good he was and how good he was for us. So, I don't really want to say nothing, but now you, I, I've got to say it. Like, he, there was one time where, Probably fans would have seen because he put on his Instagram. He's uh, the, the same thing that he did to Michael Hector on his last game for for Brentford. He did to me in training, and you know, like those are things that he would do do regularly. Like this is not just things that is just he did it once, and you, you think, wow, like it's, this is just part of his game. That's that's things he will do, and I'm sure he will start doing it in the the Premier League soon. You know. Oh, I, I, to be fair, I, I give it to Ivan. To be fair, to him. like what he's doing this season, what he's done for us is is, is phenomenal. Um, top assist, or top goal scorer. That's that's not easy easy things to do. Definitely a top player. Definitely another one going to play top Premier League football. But yeah, I'll say Ivan. Ivan, uh, the top main man, main number nine. It's not a bad 11, but I feel he's missed out some big names. Phil Foden, Raheem Sterling, Bernardo Silva. But it's great to see him looking after his mate Tariq Fosu, settling into that front three quite nicely. What a season he's had, by the way. Now, while Shannon recovers from his knee injury, one man who made his first start for the Bees recently was Finn Stevens, and he's still buzzing with it. The first time I got the call, I was just... I was in my room and I've just got a text from Neil saying uh, you may or may not be with the first team tomorrow, like uh, depending on if someone's fit or not. I've gone there in the morning and I was training with the first team, so yeah, it was a really good feeling. I was just buzzing to, to start training. You're definitely eager to impress. You're a little bit nervous first few sessions, but then it kind of just becomes normal to you. Just like it's just normal training now. You always want to try and impress to just stay in their minds and uh, get in their good books. So. Just got to keep doing well in training week in, week out. When I made that first team squad, I got told by someone before I even knew that I was in it because I wasn't on the, the chat at the time, which was like, I didn't believe it at the time until later on I got told by Brian. It was just really exciting and couldn't wait and it was a, a really good achievement for me. As soon as I got the call and I texted my mum, like rang her, just said, Going to be in the squad this weekend with the first team. Obviously, it's really proud, proud for me and them as well. So it's good to, sh to share the good news. Knowing that I was going to be in the squad, it was just really good feeling. Like I was going to be part of a match day squad, like all the build up, everything. So it was just it was going to be a really good experience for me. Whatever happened, if I got on or if, if I didn't. For the Fulham game, I found out the day before. Um, Brian like pulled me over and said, "You're going to be in the squad tomorrow." And he also said to me, if it, like the game's going right, then we're going to try and get your debut. So I was like, I was shocked at the time, but I was really excited. So I just couldn't wait for the day to come, really. And then obviously the game planned out well with us going three 0 up. So yeah, I've got got my debut, which is unbelievable, really. As he told me, I was, I could have come on. I was obviously hoping for us to go at least two, two, three 0 up, and that that was the case on the day, which was really good for me and me coming on. I started warming up about 55 minutes, I think. And then like Brian kind of said, like warm up, like as you're going to come on. So I had to do like more sprints and stuff. So then I kind of knew that I was going to come on. And then as soon as he called my name to go and put my shirt on, that was when like kind of hit me that I was actually properly coming on to make my debut. They all just said good luck and out, all the boys on the bench, all the coaches, Brian was showing me like set pieces. Yeah, they all just wished me uh, good luck and to have a good game.
She was a bit nervous, but I just keep the first one a bit simple. It was a dream, dream come true really to make my debut, professional debut. I just had to take it all in my stride and I just did what I could do in the time that I had. The teammates were buzzing, uh, Thomas said like, congratulations to Finn for making his debut in the change room, like, well, kind of a round of applause. I had all my mates texting me like, well done and that. Obviously family texting me as well, so yeah, it was a really, a really good moment for me. Two days before the game, we kind of did like lineups. I was in midfield, which is obviously is my position, and I thought like this can't really be the starting team. And then the next day it was the same team again, so that was when it like kind of hit me. And then at the end of training, because Thomas and Brian were all isolating that Neil was taking training, so he's like read out the team, and I was starting, which was it was kind of a shock, but I kind of had it in the back of my head that I could be starting because of the way they were lining up. But then when I found out, I just had to get prepared for the game like I normally would and just, just do what I know I can do and just do well. Morning before the game you wake up kind of early, you just you're buzzing, you can't wait for the game to just come. Like you just want to get your kit on and go and go and play. Yes. It's just really exciting when you know you're playing in the evening as well. It's really good when you see like all the all your names come up and you walk out like your arms are folded and that the big picture of you. Yeah, it's really nice to see and just you just feel like you've kind of You've, it's like an achievement that you're there playing and it's just it's a really good feeling. I think it's definitely easier to start a game because then you're more ready, like your your mind's more in the place because you know you're going to play and, and then you grow into the game when you start as well. But when you come on, it's a bit hectic because they're all like, they've already grown into the game and you need to kind of get started in that. So I definitely think it's easier to, to start the game rather than come on. I was a little, little bit nervous, first 10, 15 minutes, just trying to get a touch of the ball and that. But after that, just felt like a normal game to me. Just, just play how I normally play. Uh, keep the ball ticking over, and yeah, just, just grew into the game. Just keep working hard on what you're doing. But if you get your chance, you have to take that chance because then that can like stand you in good stead for your, for your future. When I was young, I used to picture it with loads of fans and that, but obviously that couldn't happen. But in a way, that's better because there's less pressure than what I would have pictured, but just without fans. Well, like Finn said, it's a shame no one was here to see it, but it's almost going to feel like a second debut when you guys are back in the stadium. And talking to fans, last time out, we asked you to get involved with Photoshop and send us your edits of this image of Ivan Tony. Thanks so much for getting involved. Some great efforts this month. Here are some of our favourites. And this month, we have a brand new task for you to edit this photo of Tariq Fosu. Download it from the description below or off Twitter. And let's see you get creative. It could be a normal edit or you could go big. You can edit him on a trampoline, maybe flying to the moon or something, whatever it is. Get creative and send in your entries below. Now, when it comes to a match day, Thomas Frank has some tough decisions to make and we gave him another three by asking him the best things about being head coach. Number three, that I pick the team, I decide. That I work with my biggest passion, football. What a man, and unfortunately that's all we have time for this month. Remember to send us in your edits of Tariq Fosu, description down below to download it. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you next month.